Hello, Sue in here from the Kafir King. Today, this video is going to be about the cheap equipment that you can use to start baking sourdough bread. We update regularly about Kafir and sourdough bread content. So if you'd like to get notified, please subscribe to our channel. Okay, so before we get started, there's one thing you actually absolutely need besides the ingredients, which is an oven. So you cannot substitute that with anything. So if you want to make sourdough bread, first thing you need, you definitely need is an oven. The first piece of equipment that you can easily replace with a much cheaper version is your mixer. So a lot of people use a mixer to mix their ingredients and if you don't own one, a very easy replacement is just a big mixing bowl and a big spoon. So what you're going to do is to put all your ingredients in this big mixing bowl and just mix it all together with your hands. It might take some getting used to but if you get the hang of it, you're able to actually mix the dough and all the wet ingredients quite uniformly with just a mixing bowl and a big spoon. Alright, the next piece of equipment that most bakers usually have is the Benetton basket with the linen cloth in it. So this is used to proof the bread and give it its final shape. So if you don't have this, maybe you, it's not easily available to you or it's too per expensive to purchase, we have a much easier and more available and cheaper option as well. You can use a small bowl, um, the shape of it depends on what kind of shape you want your bread to be and a tea towel to just line your bowl where you can lightly dust it with flour to dump your bread in for its final proofing. Alright, the next piece of equipment that might not be readily accessible for you will be the shower cap that we usually use to put over our linen, our benetton or if you're using a bowl and tea towel to prevent the bread from drying out. All right, so if you don't have this um, readily accessible, there are very much more convenient options that you can use, such as a Ziploc bag. All right, it does the same function, but you'll need to actually put your bowl or Benetton into it. Um, but if you don't even have Ziploc bags, um, you can actually use just a regular plastic bag. Put your bowl of Benetton in and just tie it up so that it doesn't get exposed to air. Our next piece of equipment is used to score your bread to let air as easily escape it when it's being baked. And this is the lamb. Alright, so we have it um, but a lot of people it's not a very common appliance that you can get easily and it might be pricey as well. So if you don't have this, you can replace this with just a simple razor blade um, that is sharp uh, and can cut through the dough. Uh, probably not as well as a lamb, but I think it will do just almost as good a job as a lamb does. Okay, the next piece of equipment is a very expensive one, which is the Dutch oven, which a lot of sourdough bakers have that helps give their bread a very good rise because the Dutch oven is able to retain steam. So, even we don't have a Dutch oven and we bake in bulk and our bread rises uh, just fine. So what we use instead of a Dutch oven is a spray bottle. <laughs> so this spray bottle actually, uh, if you spray the entire oven before the bread starts baking as much as you can, that actually creates enough steam to slow down the bread crust from hardening so that the bread can rise uh, as much as possible. So yes, instead of a Dutch oven, get a spray bottle. Okay, the final piece of equipment is when you want to eat your bread and you need to slice into it with a bread knife. So if you don't actually own a bread knife, it's, I know it's not very common in Malaysia, but if you don't, you can still consume the bread. Just tear it, <laughs> just tear it into sort of pieces and just uh, uh, spread butter or peanut butter over it as you wish. That is a good hack. Because you don't need no fancy bread knife to eat sourdough bread. Okay, and that was a very short video uh, on telling you what kind of equipment you can use instead of the regular baking equipment if you don't have it or if it's too pricey to purchase. Thank you so much for watching. We actually have a full video series on how to break your own sourdough bread, especially if you're living in Malaysia. 
feel free to check it out on our channel. And we update about kefir and sourdough bread regularly, so if you want notifications when we update a new video, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to us and help other people find our channel more easily. So if you're Malaysian and you'd like to give our bread a try, you can find us in the link in the description below. We actually deliver our bread to um, around the Klang Valley and we also post to uh, the states in West Malaysia. So yeah, give it a try and we'll see you in the next video.